This is the Bremen Public School update of our return to school plans as of January 23rd, 2020. On Tuesday, July 21st, Marshall County Superintendents met with the County Department of Health. Here are some of the things we were told. Marshall County is per capita one of the most infectious counties in the state. Being a statistical outlier has brought us to the attention of the State Department of Health. Given the pressure from the state, Dr. Holm is firm on the mask order. He insists that students and staff members will need to wear masks all day, even in classrooms where students can be spread out. As a reminder, while they did not flaunt this, the health department does have the authority to close us if we do not comply. Lastly, it was determined that a 10% absence level for any reason would cause us to contact the Department of Health to make a determination whether we need to close or not. The following day, Governor Holcomb issued a statewide mask order. Governor Holcomb stated during that speech that Indiana has been experiencing 600 cases of COVID-19 per day. A mask, said Holcomb, can help save lives. Under this order, all students who are in third grade or above will be required to wear a mask at school. All children are required to wear a face covering while on a school bus. Masks are also required for co-curricular and extracurricular activities with exceptions for strenuous physical activity. What this means for Bremen Public Schools. We will comply with the two mask orders. As such, all of our students will be required to wear masks throughout the school day instead of just in the common areas as we had previously planned. Our instructors will make every effort to find creative, safe ways to give students what I call mask breaks. This may be done by holding classes outside, spreading students out during recess, and any other way they find possible. Knowing this, if you wish to select our remote option, we have made a few changes. Given the circumstances, we have changed our stance regarding participation in extracurricular activities. Now, students learning remotely will be allowed to participate in extracurricular activities, including sports. As a reminder, if you wish to select a remote learning option for your student, please visit our remote learning sign-up page. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and administration, and everyone associated with our school community, we thank you for your patience as we travel through these unprecedented events. I know that much of this may be uncomfortable and not what many of you desire. However, please stick with us as we're going to do everything we can to ensure that your children receive the best possible education 